Hi makeup friends! I have a haul to share with you guys. I went back to two branches from Wonderful World and I also met up with Rhea from Makeup Haven. So I told you guys that I was going to go back to um, the Long Circular branch to check and see if they put out any new um, statement pieces or any more items on sale and I did. So uh, it is a mix, the Wonderful World haul is a mix between Long Circular branch and West Mall branch. So I am going to show you guys what I picked up and I'll start off with um, some earrings that I did pick up. I got these little cute ones, it's just yellow with some stones. These were on sale for $4. So I just found those were cute. I picked up this one, was on sale for $10. I picked up this one on sale for $7. Oh, they looked really royal. <laughs> And then lastly, I picked up this one for $23 on sale. I really like the blue and the peach together. Now, out of these items that I did pick up, I have already put aside um, some of them as gifts to be given for Christmas. I do, if anybody knows me personally, I am a Christmas fanatic. I am a Christmas freak. I will admit it. I love it. Um, so I have already put aside some presents for friends and family out of the sale items because the sale items were fantastic. So the ones that I did keep for myself was this necklace. It was one originally one seventy. I got it on sale for fifty seven dollars. Now some of these larger pieces. They cost a little more because there's no damage to them. Like nothing is missing. It's just on sale. So I got that. Then the rest of the necklaces I did pick up. Hold on. They're sort of tied together. I did pick up this one. This one, the sale on it wasn't that good. It was 80 and then it went to 56 reason why I picked it up is because I really wanted a necklace in this color. It looks green, but it's more of a yellow. So I did pick up that. This one that I am wearing is uh, an old one that I did pick up from Wonderful World as well. Then I did pick up this one. It was 80 Went on sale for 56 as well. This one is huge and really, really nice. Let me see if I can get it to show. As you can see there, two of these studs are missing, but I really loved the white, so I picked it up anyway. Got that one. I did pick up this one. It was 80 on sale for 56 as well, but it was too beautiful to be left behind. You see there's this gold leaf detailing, and then there's this mint green bunch of flowers there. Loved that one. I did pick up this one. This was originally 95 on sale for 38. Look at that. And it is mounted on the plastic, just like the other one that I picked up. And it got sparkly how many diamonds and none of them are missing. It did come with a little earring. I did pick up nextly. Okay, I did pick up this one, and this one was 85 on sale for 34 and this one is on a long chain as well, and I did love the pendant, came with these little earrings, love that one, and then I did pick up this one, and I thought this one looked really royal, like a queen would wear it, so it was 95 on sale for 38 Look at that one. Look at the rubies and stuff on that. Not the rubies, Sapphire or whatever. <laughs> so I did pick up that one. I did pick up a a green one to this with these the big stones are like a nice green. And I did put aside, I did give that to my mom with a matching earring that I picked up. And then I did put aside, as I said, some gifts for like friends and family 
my stuff makeup items that i got on sale from wonderful world um were these jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencils the original price on these was 30 dollars and i paid 12 dollars a piece i have been looking for these for a long long time and um they only had they had this one in continuous almond which is a nude color i'm going to use these as eye bases and then I did pick up this one in Pink Evermore, which is a, like a champagne pink. They did also have the brown. And then testers, they did have white and black, but they didn't have those on sale. I think I will go back for the brown one. Then I did pick up this NYX Ultra Pearl. It's like a, like a pigment, and I paid $15 for it. It's in the color Mink. So it's a nice... Let me see if I can swatch for you guys. I believe the original price on these was probably $30 and I paid $15. What's it there? So I'm going to use it like a pigment. Then, so that was everything that I picked up from Wonderful Wool. And then I did just come back from meeting up with Rhea and I purchased a few items. Um, I was having a lot of trouble finding my NYX matte finish spray, so she did have that. Picked up that. Um, I really, really wanted to try the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. It's a primer. Now, this is the travel size. She does have the full size as well, but I didn't want to splurge and, and buy the, the very big one before I know how this works. And this is what it looks like. So, it's supposed to be a really fantastic mattifying primer so i will try that out and let you guys know how that works i did also pick up this um another one of the color pop eyeshadows and this one is in i heart this and i saw someone maybe sarah sukraj use this this is what it looks like i haven't opened this as yet it's a nice color i love these color pop shadows they are fantastic and i really really love these sorts of colors for my eyelid like these champagne-y kind of, I love these sorts of colors for my eyelid. So I did pick up that. And then the last item I picked up from Rhea was the Laura Mercier Ready Set Go um, Translucent Setting Powder. Now everyone has been raving about this and I really wanted to try it. I did buy the travel size in this and it is pretty pricey. This travel size one cost, and it is pretty small, this travel size one cost $210 and I believe the, the big one is like $370 or $350 or something. So I did want to purchase the small one before I went ahead and I did buy the big one to see how it works for me. Also, I will be traveling later down the year, closer to Christmas. So anything that's high-end that works for me right now, I can go ahead and purchase it in Sephora or something when I go. And Rhea did include two gifts for me. Um, she did put this Wet n Wild color icon. It is a black eyeliner. So I do appreciate that. And then she sent this little tiny thing, and I thought it was like a little perfume sample or whatever. When, when you open it and you push this in here... It's a lip brush. It's a re retractable um, lip brush. So I really appreciate that. You can keep that in your bag. And it just closes up so it won't get dirty. So I really appreciated that. So that was my haul, guys. I hope you did enjoy. I don't think I will be shopping at Wonderful Will for any more jewelry. I'm pretty much set with the statement necklaces. I have a ton now. So that's about it. I will be going to Pennywise soon. So I will have a Pennywise haul coming up. And I also am planning to do my review on the Beauty Blender. That sponge is no regular sponge. It is the bomb diggity. Fantastic. So I will be giving you guys a, a, a very in-depth review on it coming up. So you guys can look out for those two other videos. Thanks again so much for watching guys. Thanks as always for everything and tuning in and staying tuned and subscribing and liking and commenting. Thank you so much. So till next time guys. Bye.